Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair, and I'm about to show you two different ways your OLED displays can crack. One of them, you and your customers already know, but what about the second one? All right, so like I was just saying, there's two different ways that your OLED display can crack. The first one, everybody knows. It's not a big deal. You can see it from here. What's wrong here? The glass is broken, okay? This is very, very common. This is something that even a customer will diagnose before they call you for a quote, okay? That is the basis of our business. But what about these other cracks I'm talking about? What about these ones that people aren't seeing? Let's jump onto the microscope and take a look. All right, so like I was saying, we all know that first type, not a big deal, glass crack, but let's get a little more involved with it. Let's, let's see what's going on here and let's kind of look at some of the physical characteristics of it so that we can differentiate it from that second type of crack that I'm about to tell you about. All right, so we're sitting in here, we're taking a look at it, let's get a little more focused. And you know, this is, this is glaringly obvious. This glass is cracked, okay? Um, the best way to tell for sure that it's the glass and it's not the actual display itself is you can take something like your fingernail or maybe your tweezers and just feel it. You can feel it. There's like a groove, okay? It's, it's not a big deal. This one is so easy to diagnose. It's, it's stupid, okay? But the second one that I keep alluding to, this one's the one. This is the one where when you're on the phone with a customer, you're like, is it the display or is it just the glass? And they're like, I don't know. It doesn't turn on, okay? Okay, cool. No big deal. Bring it on in. Let me take a look at it, and I'll tell you. So let's go ahead and tell them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move down the display and I'm going to point something out to you and I'm going to show you this and you're going to be like, oh, that's what he's talking about. Okay, no big deal. So we're going to slide down here and, oh man, looks like there's a crack there, okay? But this one's a little bit darker. Look at the first one. It's all shiny and reflective. Let's go back down. This one's all dark. What's going on here? Let's take our tweezers. Let's find out. Nope, the glass isn't broken. Okay, so maybe that's the actual display that's broken. Now, you can tell a difference here, okay? You can see how dark this one is, okay? Any of these actual OLED displays with an internal crack in the OLED panel itself, those cracks are gonna be a lot darker, okay? They don't have the light reflecting directly off the top to produce that real shiny crack effect, okay? The one that we all know so well, okay? Now. Here's the problem, and here's why these go undiagnosed. And by undiagnosed, I'm talking about the actual display cracks. Um, this could give you a much better insight whenever you're actually replacing the screen because I know a lot of people out there will replace a display or test a display, and they're literally just trying. They're just seeing if it's gonna work. But what if I could eliminate that whole you know, uncertainty just by doing a little bit of extra looking, okay? now. What I've come to find over the years, especially with refurbishing OLED displays, is they, they tend to crack in weird places. Okay, so now I don't know if I've got one directly on the on this one in that spot. Give me just let me take a look here. Mm, kinda. Let's go ahead and jump up to the top here. Alright, so we see that this actual display crack goes all the way to the edge of the display. Oh, perfect, here it is. Okay, I think we got one. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but up here in the corner, along the very edge of the display, this is where they seem to break non-stop, and they go completely undiagnosed. If you watched my video earlier on using your actual microscope for refurbishing, then you'd be able to find these like that, okay? so. One thing that you always want to check for is you always want to go around your edges and you want to check and make sure, oh man, look at that. Oh, we found some more. And I couldn't even see them before. Let's try and get a little closer. Oh yeah, you can see it right there. Little baby cracks in your OLED. How about that? Now, if you were to look at that, you know, just kind of chilling here looking at it, you would never see that. Okay, and at that point, you'd have to get a display, you'd have to open the device up, and you'd have to click it in, turn it on, test it, and at that point, how much labor have you already put in when you could have easily just diagnosed this right off the bat? 
okay so now we know the two different types of display cracks on your OLED okay we've got the regular ones that everybody can see and then we've got the dark mysterious hidden ones in the corners okay so there we go again and let's go ahead and go over it one more time in the top corner here and you know some of these I didn't even see I didn't see these until I got in the microscope it's so important to have a microscope for all different aspects of mobile repair Oh man, you can see them right there. And that right there is going to tell me immediately that it's just the display. That's it.